Good morning to everybody here in South Africa and good afternoon to everybody in New Zealand. Welcome to this next game in this X-Wing Team Championship XTC between New Zealand and South Africa. Group B, Round 4. It's going to be an interesting match guys. We've got the Galactic, Repub Galactic Empire facing off against the Rebel Alliance. And we've got uh, Ryan from New Zealand. He's going to be fighting the Rebel Alliance. And um, we've got, on his side, we've got Wedge with Proton Torpedoes. And where is that list of mine now? Why am I looking at different stuff here? Wow, ah, early morning, guys. I do apologize. <laughs> got Wedge with Proton Torpedoes, R3 Astromech. The R3 Astromech allowing Wedge to... Maintain up to two target locks. Different, uh, uh, yeah, must lock onto different optics. Um, and then we've got Luke Skywalker with instinctive aim and proton torpedoes. Both of them running the standard S foils. And then we've got Ahsoka Tano and A Wing. Very interesting character, this. Um, I haven't seen an A Wing specifically, so this is new for me too. So it's going to be interesting what she can do. After you fully execute a maneuver, you may choose one friendly ship at range 1 to 2 and spend 2 force. That ship may perform an action even while stressed. So Ahsoka is going to give the guys extra actions even while stressed. I mean, action economy, that that that's always good in any X-Wing game. Definitely. Any X-Wing game is always good. So, thank you everyone for, for joining. Um, let's go over John's list quickly. John is flying the Galactic Empire. He's got Darth Vader in a TIE V1. Uh, X1, sorry. <laughs> Darth Vader in a TIE X1. And he is flying Darth Vader with fire control systems and afterburners. That's basically standard Vader build for the X1. He's got TIE Advanced V1, fifth brother, with sense of sensors and homing missiles homing missiles and fifth brother working so well this past time pushing that damage through without even having to fire uh, having to shoot any dice or roll any dice then uh oh mr ty punisher mr death rain with his bomb and missile shenanigans trajectory simulator or no toss the bomb out further or or closer so increases the speed, increases the tablet of the bomb, advanced protons, five dice, range one, always lethal. Used to always play it on my Alpha class Starfighter. And then Diamond Boron missiles, defenders, all. Uh, what's the name? Is it after this attack hits? You may spend one surge charge. If you do each ship and range it to one of the defender with agility equal or less to the defender's rolls, one attack die and suffers hit to crits. That's a decent one always. Skill Bombardier allows you to set the bearing. Sorry, trajectory simulator allows you to toss the bombs out front five. Sorry, I played this card. I don't even know why I'm struggling with it. <laughs> so, skill Bombardier allows you to change the speed. Uh, concussion bombs, uh, very very nasty bombs. Thermal deaths, also very nasty. That all these bombs dropping and stuff gives Death Rain his his extra actions that he so longly wants and can do because of his ability. Every single time he drops a bomb, he can do an action. So uh, that's pretty cool. And delayed fuses, just to in case he just needs to wait one more round, he can use that. So yeah, guys, those are the two lists. Gonna be interesting match up here. Yeah? So uh, we're gonna have to see what happens between these two teams. So far, to my understanding, the standings in this round for these two teams. This is game four. So for these two teams, I think the standings at the moment is two one New Zealand leading this round in this group B stage between these two teams. So yes, guys. Um Let's see. So, fifth brother is a 
pilot skill five. No, pilot skill four. Pilot skill four. Uh, Vader went onto the board first, and we're just there next. So initiative was then given to John. Because Ryan is only flying 194 points, John is flying 198. So Ryan obviously gave the initiative to John to move first and shoot first. So that's what we have, guys. That's what we have. My name is Arnie. Welcome again to my stream. And yeah. Very early morning. I haven't had my coffee and my breakfast yet. So. I do veer off track with uh, some random comments. I do apologize. But that's entertainment, guys. That's entertainment. Yeah. Both these guys are almost ready. But uh, go ahead there from, from Ryan that he's ready. Just waiting for John to give me that ping. And there's the ping. And ready, set, and go. And we're off, guys. First activation in this round. Let's see what happens. But brother moves too forward. Ding, ding, ding. Death Rain moving one forward, bumping Earth Brother. Got a one straight from Luke, focusing Asako. Ahsoka. Asako. <laughs> it sounds like pudding. They go pudding. Oh, no, I'm listening to Sago pudding. Ahsoka. Turning one right. Vader going one forward. Not going too far. And also Wedge going one forward as well. It's like the old saying one forward to victory is now in play, yeah? One's going one forward. <laughs> but yeah. Let's take a Sokotano. He didn't even look at that. It's got a card called Patience. The start of the engagement phase, if there is an enemy ship in your firing arc, you may gain one deplete token to recover one force. That's an interesting card. Not really one strain. Not one strain or deplete tokens or stretch tokens. Or dis disarm tokens for that matter. But it's built into the game for a reason. So yeah, see Mr. Fifth Brother flying quite high than the board. We just tilt the camera a bit so we can actually see him. <laughs> here we go. I think that's, yeah, here we go. Now we can see him. <laughs> Death Rain banking left. Fifth Brother boosted. Two straight from Luke, two straight from Ahsoka. Vader banking in three and barrel rolling out. By the looks of it. There we go. There we go. There's the barrel. So it seems like Ryan is keeping very tight formation in the middle of the board going through these asteroids. Um, the big question is is Flying through these asteroids with all three ships. Yes, it's not impossible. But it's always a challenge to, to do that. I mean, 
don't really want to be caught off guard when when flying these ships through any asteroid field. Um, John, the spreading out the ships a bit. So the question is, where and when and whose ship is going to be the target of who first? That's the question. Is the movement decisions uh, from the rebel rebels that needs to be made to get through these asteroid fields? Flying through the asteroid fields in this capacity actually is not that bad. Um, it actually gives you as the player a bit of cover. Number one, as I would feel, and then your opponent obviously now depending which side it has to fly differently to get into the if they want to engage you inside the rocks but the other side if you don't want to just don't need to <laughs> and yes i'm talking smack <laughs> yep kevin you're completely right there way too early back screen. but it is never too late for X-Wing, is it? Guys, uh, getting ready for the next uh, engagement or activation movement. Right, so first bombs of the game. First, first bombs of this game. Now we're going to see what is going to happen here. Just John touching out the thermal detonator. The back range. The range two thermal did. And tossing out one out the front. Five template speed. I don't think he's using any delayed fuses at this point in time. Doesn't seem like it. With that moving one straight, clearing the stress, and reloading his thermal detonators by the looks of it. Yeah, there we go. Thermal dates are reloaded. The fifth brother moved in to bank using his passive sensors. So he is reading his action with either dog lock or a calculate.
Ooh. Luke is creeping up. Might be just in range of that thermal detonator. Soka, spending two force to use her ability. It seems like Ahsoka is more of the support ship in this specific role than a aggressive ship. I need coffee. I need coffee. So target lock is being added to death rain and brings with it range three the awesome proton torpedoes will be fired that's the only logical thing now to do that's what they want that's the reason the proton torpedoes are on the ships is to fire them from afar and hitting hard Ooh, we've got Luke Skywalker and Ahsoka in range 3 of Darth Vader to be able to take a dog lock. So Vader now just decide which one. Ahsoka herself, as far as I know, didn't take any other actions. Only, only did a boost forward. Looks like Vader might be targeting her. Is he doing his second action ability? Yeah, with the focus. Because why not? Vader needs actions and modification. Well, not quickly, but yeah, he needs stuff. Wedge moving in as well. Also going with the target lock. Also on death rain. Vader at this point in time, ah, oh, Vader. Deathrain is going to take a lot of fire on these two guys. Bombs going off. There is one bomb that hit Luke. Luke takes a shield. Right, and here are the missiles. Is it? No, it's actually not. It's John, sorry. John firing first because of initiative. So Darth Vader shooting at Ahsoka. And Vader has a crit and two focuses. He is spending his focus and changing one crit, uh, one hit to a crit because of Advanced firing controls. Ahsoka takes one shield. Because she only rolled an evade and a focus, no modifications. Ahsoka takes one shield. Sorry, advanced targeting computer. Right, first proton torpedo of the game going into death rain, range 3, from Wedge. Because there's a proton, death rain cannot roll any dice because of Wedge's ability. And the reroll gives us 3 hits and a blank. And that is all 3 of the fields down on death rain. Yes, guys, these proton torpedoes are lethal if they hit. We saw yesterday in yesterday's game that it's not that lethal if there's too many green dice. And if the green dice gives the results they want. So there should be another proton torpedo from Luke. And it is through a rock. So Luke shooting his proton torpedo 
using a force and getting a crit three hits and the rock plus focus gives death rain if evades total only taking two crits crit is a blinded pilot and Fulik. Not the crits you really, really, really want. In Blinded Pilot. And you use your force. Fulik after you suffer a crit. Yeah, I kind of missed that one there. What happened there? Oh, so Fifth Brother is... doing his passive senses. Taking a target lock on Wedge. Allows him to fire that homing missiles. Unless he's just taking a normal shot. Yeah, it looks like he's just taking a normal shot. Uh, hit crit. From fifth brother and it is four dice through it's because of three a rock onto wedge and wedge takes what happening here now hang on hang on what's oh fifth brother adds a crit result yes he adds a crit result as well so therefore wedge takes two shields and a crit being damaged engine guys it is the firing is on here guys and <laughs> even better they've managed to tie the score we've got 35 35 on both sides Right, so this engagement, both sides lost a fair amount of shields and hull on a few ships. Their friend taking the bulk, three shields and two crits. Blinded pilot is not the crit that you really would like. He doesn't have any force. So you might would like to maybe repair that card. Because he needs to be able to modify his dice. Any dice he rolls. Or... Or his missiles that he is firing. So, Wedge. Two shields down. Proton Torpedo spent. As well as Luke. Proton Torpedo spent. Luke, one shield down. Ahsoka. One shield down as well. Death Rain, three shields. Two crits. Vader and fifth brother on John's side still in good health. Sorry, first brother spent both his force. Vader's force came back. So yeah, guys. Next round of firing. Oh, sorry. And <laughs> next it's too early. I'm going to say next round of activation. Movement. Let me just get that right before I... Yeah. <laughs> put my... Put to my mouth.
All right, so Death Rain is choosing more bomb violence, tossing out a <laughs> launching a bomb. Yes, terminology, I need terminology. Launching a bomb four straight and then flipping his blinded pilot. Good call. Good call. In tossing out the bomb at the back with delayed fuse. And with that, he is probably going to take a focus. That Fulik is. Fulik is going to mess with his Karma a bit, I think. Going three straight. Is he going for the block here? That is interesting. Question is on who though? Is he going to put that target lock now? Ahsoka. There's a possible high chance that both Luke and Wedge is going to bump him. Interesting player. Both brother creeping up on the side. Question is, is he going to... Link barrel. No, he's not. He's just staying right there. Ahsoka moving too hard left. There's the first bump, as anticipated. Only situation with that selection of target lock now from Death Rain is... If that bomb blows up... No, that bomb will not blow up anyone. Anyone specifically, anyone soon. Looks like Ahsoka gave a focus to Wedge. Oh, Vader is moving his target lock. Question is to who though? Spins a force to do that. Does he? Is the other action? I don't see another action here on Vader. Vader boosted, but Vader used afterburners to boost. Oh, so off the afterburners, he is triggering a target lock and then focus off the normal one. I don't know why I spent too force though. Right, so the bomb goes off. Everybody in that. Big massive cluster has to roll one dice. Okay, cool. So one dice for fifth brother. Focus. Fifth brother takes a strain. Death rain. Focus takes a strain. Ooh. Okay. Luke. Takes a hit. Luke shields down. Soka. Blank. Takes nothing. Wedge. Takes a strain. Wowzers. Put nine minutes left in this game, guys. We've got 35 points to 35 points. It's a tie so far. So yes, that is a Vader shot, obviously into Wedge, 
Ooh, and he is doing damage. Two hits, two crits total. Which only got one dice because of that strain. He gets a focus. Is he using his focus? Is it really needed to use his focus? I think it might not be enough. He's not using his focus. Because he's still being able to fire. But Wedge is definitely down. It was a fuel leak of a con damage engine and a console fire. So he's ready for console fire. And he takes another hit. Wow. The wedge was scraped off the board there, but he's not done yet. He is still firing back. And the thing is, is he is going to go straight to Death Rain range 1. Bill has his mods. A hit and three focuses. He might as well spend a focus. Four hits into Death Rain. Death Rain does not have any dice. And that is definitely Death Rain down. Yeah, that is their friend down as well. Ooh, a very, very interesting turn of events here, guys. Losing each ship, dice rolls were great. So there's three dice from Ahsoka into Fifth Brother. Range one. Oops, sorry. Soka spinning force. No, no. Yeah, no, no. Yes, it was modified and with brother rolled two eyes. What? Why is first brother all two eyes? We modified a dice from eye to evade. Okay. So there's three hits there. From first brother into Ahsoka. And there was three evades. So nothing happening there. One force back from Soka. Sorry guys, let me just update that. That was the result. Focus was spent and three evades. Am I correct in saying that Ahsoka hit Fifth brother? Isn't fifth brother supposed to have one less shield? We'll find out soon enough in this next round of X-Wing. So guys, interesting turn of events. Both Wedge and Death Rain off the board, and you guys will not guess it. Unless the stream updates, which it did. So you probably have guessed it and saw it. 69 points each on each side. Wow. Each side is neck on neck on points. Playing the twin game. Oh. It's a quality match, guys. Both players neck on neck hanging in there. What a game. What a game. So, Soka in range one is being sensed by Fifth Brother. Yeah, so Fifth Brother does a one bank left, doesn't bump. Takes a target lock on Luke. And then Ahsoka doing her 5k.
and then Wedge flipping his ace foils. Oh, sorry, Wedge. Luke flipping his ace foils, doing a three Talon, turning around. Both these ships are now facing Fifth Brother. Range one from Luke, range two from Ahsoka, as far as I can see. But Vader is not going to let his fifth brother teammate be there alone. Doglock of that getting a focus, spinning the force. And he's spending another force to barrel roll. Interesting. He does not want to be in Luke's arc. Basically kind of forcing Ryan's hand in this case to focus fire on fifth brother. Hey. Okay, so there is a patience trigger from Ahsoka to take a deplete token and recharge two of her force tokens. Right, John shooting into Luke. Right, he's changing that focus. He rerolled fire control systems into a hit and then changed to a crit. Luke nadded out. Taking a crit, oops, which is a structural damage. Luke went down one more hit. That actually pushes the points up to 106 for South Africa and 69 for New Zealand. <laughs> right, so fifth brother is going to do the fending. Hopefully, I didn't miss the dice roll now. Yes, I did. Okay, so that is look into fifth brother. And fifth brother takes a shield. Right, look into fifth brother. Luke has three hits in the bank. Fifth brother had two evades. They're taking a shield. And I completely missed the fire there from Ahsoka. I do apologize, guys. Probably should see it on the stream. The fifth brother is still intact. I presume he did. He did uh, not get hit by Ahsoka. Forty minutes left in this game, guys. Still a lot of X-wing to happen. We've got Wedge down, Luke. Two shields down, one hull, structural damage. Fifth brother, one shield down. Uh, and there's a sense from fifth brother onto Luke. Fifth brother moves. Turns one hard out. Gets an evade. Right, Ahsoka is next to move. Oh, I'm clicking on his board, that's why. Make sure my connection is... 
be shown. Ooh, whew. Luke Skywalker coming in onto Fifth Brother range one. Ahsoka moving in as well. Both getting rid of the stresses, taking probably focuses. Or no, looks like there is a Ahsoka Tano trigger. But at E taking toggle lock from Luke onto Fifth Brother. Ooh, there's a lot of dice going in there. Oh, right, Ahsoka's got one force left. Luke has got one force as well. Vader has moved. Taking a focus. I'm oh, taking a stress, sorry, because of the 4K. Oof. Is he thinking of boosting? No, looks like not. He does have his three dice though, because of range one. Um, uh, three dice. Three. Oh, sorry, Darth Vader. Yes, he does have a dog lock. I do apologize. Didn't see the dog lock there. Uh, so he spins the force, turning it with targeting computer. Change the one focus to a crit eventually. And then using the toggle lock to reroll into another crit and a hit. So crit, crit, hit from Vader into that into wait edge into Luke. Yes, into Luke. Why did Luke only roll one? Oh, because of structural damage. The two crits going into Luke. He rolled one evade. We've got Blinded Pilot and we've got Fulik on Luke. Right, Fifth Brother defending. He is in a little bit of a doozy there, right in the middle of that of that firing arc coming through. We've got a hit and three blanks. And fifth brother gets that evade, focus, and a blank. No need to worry about that hit. But why didn't Luke reroll? Oh, sorry. He got the pilot pilot. That's a bad crit to get right when you have all the modifications. Ahsoka range one, hit, hit, blank. Fifth brother changing a force and is spending his evade to change both the focuses to evades. That's round. Fifth brother is not taking this lying down, guys. He is... He is there and he's making his presence known. Ryan flying very awesome through these rocks, keeping these guys, Luke and Ahsoka, both having guns on. And he is flying very good as well. Vader now being able to, to fire from, from the back. Having the opportunity to, to move. <laughs> so guys, 35 minutes left in this game. Points still standing at 106 for South Africa and 69 for New Zealand. Anything can still happen. Just move up these guys that's still alive. Here we go. Move up Ahsoka. Oh, and I quickly need to make a small adjustment here because it looks like the dice is falling underneath the, the African banner. Taste it. Here we go, that's better. Boom. So, there was a sense from Fifth Brother into Luke Skywalker. Fifth Brother doing his 4K. Skywalker doing his 4 straight. Ooh. Once again, these two guys are going to be facing off. 
he is repairing his blind pilot. Keeping his fuel leak and structural damage. Oh, structural damage he can't do anything about. It is a crit that cannot be taken away. Fuel leak could cause havoc. Both these players doing very well in this game. A block from Ahsoka. That is what Ryan wanted. The uh, Vader cannot. Oh, but hang on. Vader does not have a target lock on Luke. So Vader will be firing only two dice at Luke range three. So well done there, Ryan blocking Vader. Limits his red dice. Vader is firing two red dice. He gets a crit and a blank. No modifications to turn that. But that might not be needed because. Oops, sorry. There is two blanks on Skywalker's side. And because Skywalker is an initiative five. He is not getting a chance to shoot. So that is Skywalker off the board, guys. Skywalker off the board. That one little crit creeping through onto Skywalker. Two dice from Fifth Brother. Both fo focuses. And spending one force to change that focus into a hit. Whoops. Ahsoka defends. And says, no, sorry, not today. Didn't even have to spend the force. So guys, two big players on the Imperial side. Galactic Empire still alive. Ahsoka, also a very big player in the A-Wing. Oh, I mean, from, from, from all the series and all the stuff, they are quite... Quite important people. <laughs> Both brother going too straight, losing that stress. And then he is going to target lock. Logical choice. Soka doing a three sloop. That's interesting. Need to turn the guns around. Very good flying from both these guys. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Later removing two bank too hard, sorry, too hard to lift. Taking a focus. Soka shooting range. Two into Vader. Unobstructed. Red and a blank. Soka spinning her target lock. Also a blank. And Vader gets a evade and two blanks. Dang, let's try again later, Ahsoka. Yay! Next round. Oops, the only got two fours there. So guys, with Luke Skywalker leaving the playing field, points adjusted 143 to 69. Oh, South Africa leading this match. 30 minutes to go on the clock. Very, very interesting match, this guys. Very interesting match.
Next game happening, guys. UTC 0800. That is 10 o'clock South African time. Not exactly sure what it is New Zealand time. Anyone can assist me there. <laughs> Anyone in the stream can assist me there with New Zealand time. It would be awesome. Right, so looks like it is a Ahsoka Tana range 1 hit into 5th brother. No, sorry, not. It is a Darth Vader shot, guys. Sorry, Darth Vader shot. Put in 2 hits. Ahsoka takes 1 more shield. Because she rolled 2... She means she got 2 evades. Now it's Ahsoka range 1 into 5th brother. Hit crit. Using the target lock. And another blank. 5th brother decides to roll 2 evades and a blank as well. So surviving once again. 5th brother range 1, 3 dice. Oh wow. Hit crit crit. And Ahsoka does not get enough dice to take away that crit. Hopefully it's not a lethal crit. Did he add another crit now? He spent his two fours to add another crit. While you perform an attack, after the neutralized device steps attack, you may spend two fours to add a crit result. Interesting. So there's no extra damage on the Soka other than the the shield that was taken off. That's half points on Ahsoka. Uh, Ahsoka's got one force. That's half points in Ahsoka. Points adjusted on the board. 169 to 69. South Africa leading this game. Thank you, Sam. 7 p.m. in New Zealand. So it should be UTC UTC zero eight zero zero. I think yeah, as mentioned. That's the next game between New Zealand and South Africa. The Brandon facing off against Jesse. Or Jess. We'll get the right pronunciation a bit later. <laughs> Alright, so let's check here. Where is this guy? This, here we go. There is. These guys deciding hard where they... Okay, so I think we've got an interesting turn of event here, guys. It seems like... The circle was taken off the board, so I think... New Zealand... Player decided to... Call it. Hi, Arnie. How's it? How's it? Uh, yes, uh, no, I killed Ahsoka because I can. I needed to do one damage and then I add uh, crit with Fifth Brother's ability. Oh, so it's over already. Okay, cool. Okay, so let me come join you guys in the in the, the chat. Thank you for clearing that out. I missed that. <laughs> All right, let me come join you guys in the chat quickly.
So, looks like Ahsoka was killed, guys. That is the game. So, Ahsoka is down. And that is the game, then. Ahsoka was killed in that engagement. Right, so let me just go chat to the guys quickly. Have a little bit of off-game chat. And then, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll finish the stream just now. Hi, good day, guys. Hey. Hey, you guys are still live on the stream. Just want to get you guys' feedback. How did the game go? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys you guys both flew, flew very good. Um, there's a, a, lot of, a lot of dice being thrown there with the, all these range ones going around. <laughs> yeah. A very good game, guys. Very good game. Thank you very much for, for the opportunity to stream it. Oh, uh, yeah, no worries. Cool. Yeah. Right. Yeah, thanks, Ronnie. Not a problem, Appreciate guys. It. Not a problem. Okay, so let me just do my sign off quickly. So, uh, thank you everyone for for joining the stream. Thank you very much for John and Ryan for the opportunity to stream the games. Very nice game, guys. Thank you very much. And uh, yep. yes, <laughs> next game happening UTC zero eight hundred. So uh, tune in for that. I will also be streaming that as well shortly. First, I need coffee. I think everyone needs coffee, or maybe a beer. Either one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, like the video if you haven't. Yeah, like the video if you liked it. Comment below and thank you very much. And 